Hi, my name is Agnes and today I want to talk about a hands-free crutch. Um, it's I walk to that zero. I'm going to show a few things that I'm able to do with it and how helpful it's been. On June 8th, 2016, I ruptured my right Achilles tendon and I'm in week five and I'm still um, non-weight bearing so I'm still I still need to use regular crutches and most of the time I'm using my iWalk. So today I'll do my review of it. I have a separate video actually of showing using iWalk within like 15 minutes of putting it on. Uh, I'll put in the links below so check it out, you know, how easy it is to learn very quickly how to use it. I've been using it for about uh, five weeks and I really love it. I do a lot of things with it as you'll see. So let me start from the beginning. It's basically um, has similar structure as a scooter, meaning you put your knee uh, on the platform and you strap it to your hip and uh, to your back of your knee and back of your calf. So let me show you like completely how to uh, put it on and how to uh, walk on it. So basically you just put your knee on the platform And you strap, three, there are three straps that you strap with. The point is to strap it really tightly. They emphasize it um, on the iWalk website and it's actually true. It's much easier to walk with it when it's very tight on your leg. Alright, so this is my, this is my new leg that I've been using and as you can see my weight is resting on the whole leg over here and my Achilles it's fine my leg is not hanging as with hands-free crutches so there is not as much swelling to my ankle as when I use crutches whole day and my hands are free I can do everything so let me show you how to walk with it I'll walk away and then walk back so you can see my hands are free and I can carry things, I can do everything. Let me show you the staircase. I usually hold on to a rail on one hand at least and when I go down the stairs I actually go backwards always, that's easier for me. And I show, well, I don't have bigger staircase in the house but we have staircase outside of the house so I'll show a quick clip how to a few more steps at the time so to take it off again it's the same thing you open the three clasps and voila so now let me show you a little bit of detail of it um, the I have a couple of things if I walk people ever are watching it the padding that they include, it's definitely not enough. If you're going to be on it for a few weeks, I just purchased additional padding that they sell and it hasn't arrived yet, but uh, uh, I'll check, you know, if it's easier on a knee and leg. Um, currently, I'm just using, this is my, it's a seat belt cover. I ordered a set of it that I use one of the seat belt covers I'm using on the strap behind the knee. That's another improvement I walk needs to do. I saw other people complaining about it and I also have a big complaint about it. The strap really gets into back of your knee and it it hurts after wearing it. I wear shorts, like shorter shorts most of the time and when the strap, the naked strap, strap is on my back of my knee, it really hurts my skin. But I used one seatbelt cover wrap which is soft and now I have no complaints so it's a really easy fix that you know I walk could inexpensively fix and also there is definitely extra padding that's needed this is nothing to do with you know it wearing off or anything it's just not enough padding on it so my seatbelt the, the second seatbelt covered it's working really well and I'm going to see how the actual I walk second padding works so I think that's it and I'm going to concatenate a few other videos to this one on, you know, other small things I do. But basically, 
frankly speaking, I'm, I'm doing everything on it. I mowed lawn, I did some pruning of our flowers, I basically cook. Whatever I'm doing, normally I can do with this. So it, I really highly recommend some of this couple of these things that need to be improved in it, really it's nothing to that would stop me from getting it. I honestly feel this saved my <laughs> last five weeks. So that's my story with I walk to that zero. Okay, going downstairs with the bad leg going on first. And always hold on to the rail. Okay, going upstairs with the good leg first. Voila. Okay, and looking from down up. So going down, I always go backwards. Sitting with eye walk is possible, but I don't know if it's something that I would do for longer periods of time. For short sits, sure, you can sit. You just, your leg is basically constrained in that position and you've got this leg sticking out. But if I need to sit, if I'm at the doctor's and I'm just waiting a short period of time before going to the office, I'm not going to take it off. So basically, you can move it, just your knees in this 90 degree. Get up and you're ready to go.
And as I was mentioning earlier, you can just do anything around the house. I mean, I just don't even think twice if I need to move anything, clean anything. I do whatever I was doing before. So even going to the store, I have a little bit of spatial fear and people with carts. I know many people with crutches freak out about shopping carts. I do too. I'm really like wanting my personal space. So I usually take a shopping cart and you know walk with it just to have mental peace. I feel slightly bigger with the shopping cart. But yeah, it's been very helpful. So I hope this review helps whoever is considering it.